This is a review of the Anjum Hotel in Makkah. I'm currently walking back from Masjid Haram. This road can get quite busy with some cars, so make sure you look to your left to see if there are any cars coming. As you walk into this entrance over here, you go up the escalators, you'll see there are two towers, Tower 1 and Tower 2. I was staying in Tower 2, so I entered Tower 2. Now, the lifts are split. you got one which does basement 1 to floor 13, and one that does floor 14 to, I believe it's floor 26. I'm on floor 10, so I enter the lifts, that's B1, to floor 13. So let's get into the room now. And one thing about this room which is good is that normally in the hotel you have to put you know, one of the cards into the slot. When you already enter the room, there is already a card in there. Now there were three people staying in this room, including me, so we got three cards, which is good. And as you can see, I'm just pointing to you there about the card thing. And to the left of that card slot is the makeup room button, which you can turn on as well. Now the light to the bathroom is over there, and as you can see, there was a really nice blue light. I quite like that as you enter. Here is the bathroom. They give you some free toiletries. Here's a shower. Now there is no option to actually have a cold shower, and this is quite disappointing, I think, as you're in a hot country and it was August as well, so it's hot. Uh, a cold shower would be really nice. Anyway, moving into the actual room itself, an ironing board there, which is out because we were ironing some clothes, or rather, my mum was. Uh, you have a safe. Underneath you have some towels, you have a copy of the, uh, the Quran there. On the other side you have hangers where you can hang up your clothes, which you can see over there. You have a, like a, was it a desk or something? Is that what it's called? Uh, plenty of space to put all your stuff. You have two chairs. I put a lot of my stuff there, as you can see. Now the beds, uh, we got a triple room. The beds are three quarter beds. There's two of them. And the triple room... Basically, you don't get three three-quarter beds. You get two three-quarter beds and a single bed they have to make up. Okay? That's something to be aware of. And apparently, this is the case with other hotels in Mecca as well, which list rooms as a triple room or whatever it is, okay? But the bed is a uh, is a single, you know, a single room. And there I did the, you know, the quotation marks of the triple room. Basically, you don't get a three-quarter bed is what I'm trying to... Uh, get across to you now that doesn't mean the single bed isn't good you know i thought it was all right the three quarter bed is a bit more comfortable uh but it was still adequate enough for me so yeah this is the unjum hotel room now what would i give this hotel out of five if it was five it's a five star hotel what would i give it i'd say it's a four star hotel i think the reason why it's a five star hotel is because of how close it is to mashal haram the proximity of it it's you know it's a it's a really quick walk, which is why I reckon it's five star. In terms of comfortability, it is comfortable. I thought it was all right. The bathroom and all that. Uh, it's disappointing there's no cold shower. Basically, you can really have a warm shower or a hot one. Um, the guests now, in my Swiss Al Khalil video, if you remember that, the guests were making loads of noises. This was every single day banging on. You know, you know what it was. You can go and check that video out. In this hotel, uh, it was similar to an extent. Uh, we This is predominantly an Indonesian hotel, it seemed. A lot of Indonesian guests. And, well, before bedtime, at certain times, they'd be congregating outside the actual room, their rooms, and just sitting in the passageway, the hallway, the, you know, there, and treating it like a lobby. And they would even eat there as well sometimes. And I was thinking, you know, whoa, you know, what is this? But apparently they're from a village, and I, I don't know, maybe it's their culture. Uh, but that was uh, certainly interesting. They would also make noise as well around like 3, 3.30 a.m. Um, obviously not the greatest, but, you know, it was, we were waking up for Fajr in the next 40 or, 40 or so minutes anyway, so I guess it's not a, that much of a big deal. Uh, and they would make noises in the morning as well, but, but I think at that point, people were close to waking up. And at night time... They would make noises as well. And as you, there, I don't know if you've just caught that I was pointing. That, what I pointed at, is Shazza Hotel. That's the hotel that I stayed in last time. And that is the hotel that I would say is probably the best hotel that I've stayed in, in Mecca. It was good. The shower was good. It was cold as well. Service was good. You know, in general, it was just a very good hotel. That is a five-star hotel. Now, though, I'm going to show you the breakfast for Anjum Hotel. And... Uh, have a wide range of stuff and I would say that the 
variety here was greater than the variety at Shazai Hotel. Before the breakfast though, this is what our hotel room looks like when it's all made up and it's fresh. Obviously the room I showed you was the room we were staying in, so it would look a bit messy, you know, a bit, a bit of stuff on the table, etc. Rather, this is what the room looks like. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Anyway, enjoy, and the breakfast will be coming next. So the breakfast is served at 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. and it's on the F floor, the first floor. You'll see that on the left, you press F. As you can see, they do a wide variety of things. And in general, the breakfast was really nice. The omelette they do as well, good. The pancakes are fresh. I like it. However, the downside is, I think, the fruit. It's canned fruit and you can tell it's canned fruit. It would be a lot better if it was fresh instead. So now we are getting towards the end of this video. In general, I would say Anjum Hotel is a good hotel, and it might be a hotel that you might want to consider staying in when you're in Makkah next time. I believe it might be a bit cheaper than other five-star hotels, but that will be for you to research when you are looking to stay in this blessed city. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.